Hey everybody, my name's Adam. I have facts as inflammatory as hemorrhoids. Well, it turns out now that whew, I've been like sitting on the sidelines watching comic skate. I noticed something. They're like the furries of geek culture. You know, like, fuck. The whole thing is, is that they just sit down and fucking bitch about everything. You know, like, hell, furries. They don't bitch as much as they do. You know, like, it, it's just a bunch of old guys. All these guys just sitting around bitching daily and daily and daily. And every fucking channel is so fucking boring. Because it's... They all talk about the same shit. You know, like, and the thing is, it's like, oh god. I have a disconnect for that type of media. No, because, yeah, you know, like, it's like, oh, blah, 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 this, this writer, this artist, blah, 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 said that, you know, like, and the whole thing is, oh, God, I'm fucking tired of it. I'm not pushing for censorship, flagging or anything, but no, I'm not. I'm tired of it. You know, like, why can't you just, like, after you walk, walk away because of, one, you know, like, the involvement of money inside of it. You know, like, uh, with, you know, like, <clears throat> with diversity in comics, you know, like, making money off of, you know, like, YouTube videos, having his fucking, you know, like, ad runs and shit. You know, like, this is a thing. You know, like, that's... You know, it opened up my eyes. I'm like, why are people trying to make money off of movements? You know, like, you know, like I, I'm not, I have no problem, you know, like, with people, you know, like, producing work and books and stuff. And if they just want professionalism between customer and, you know, like, the professional, if you want, uh, shit. If you want <clears throat> good art, good stories, balanced and nuanced politics in the books. You know, like, just, and, and, you know, like, if you're going to do a political book, just be like, hey, it's this, it's the turn for this time, this side, who are you? If you want you, your books like that. Pepper. You know, like, and then, you know, Look at the, you know, and I think it should have been, okay, and then another thing, it's catering to outrage culture, it's negative, basically, it's a negative force of just a bunch of people bitching about shit, and the fucking same shit, and I am glad I left because it's about to collapse. Because it's turning into Ethan Van Skyver decided to turn Comic Skate and to a fucking popularity contest. See? It's like, yeah. And it's cool because he's a biggest name and biggest fucking dick probably. I mean, asshole with the tiniest dick. And War Campaign loves to suck his nose. I mean, his dick a lot. And, you know, everybody on... And, you know, like, every live stream and shit he's on, it's a blow Ethan fest. You know, like, it, it, he gets his dick sucked more than anyone. You know, like... It, and they have turned into a school of ideals. Like, we have this, some asshole, uh, talk about how, oh yeah, you know, like, these companies are merging, you know, like, the industry is 
declining. There's an, another thing. There's a resale industry on like Amazon, eBay, that that market has had a boom. You like the speculator market. And that's the thing, you know, like you need to have the speculator, you know, like that underground industry is like actually blowing up. Hell, you know, like <coughs> it's actually uh that the whole thing is you know, like the resale market is doing better. You know, like, hey, I might go to some retailers to pick up stuff that I missed out on for cheap. Instead of paying cover price. Get a lot of it. You know, like, get a lot of alternative books. You know, like, for fucking cheap. A lot of Dark Horse books for cheap. You know, like, you use trade paperbacks and stuff like that. See? That's causing the industry to boom. That industry is booming. You know, like, yeah, you know, like, okay, yeah, there's different corporations. Just being, uh, <clears throat> you know, like, are failing, basically. Like, Ani and Lineforge had to combine forces, basically. Maybe Black Mass will join up, too, if they're starting to tank. Then I, IDW should join up, because they're tanking, you know, like, having, like, a conglomerate. And that'd be funny if Dynamite joined up. And, and another new, other news, okay, you know, Ethan Van Skyver is very contradictory and hypocritical because this is, <clears throat> this is some bullshit. Everybody's fucking praising him. He said this. This is a direct quote. He said that, yeah, you know, variant covers are predatory. He has two cyber frog variants. Then he's going to be doing Cyberfog variant covers for fucking A. Dynamite. Which have almost 10 to 12 fucking variant covers for each run, basically. I, I, I get some, I get, you know, some Army of Darkness covers that are accidental purchases. Variants. I just looked at the cover. I didn't read what it said on top. Variant cover. Because it looked cool. I was disappointed in myself. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god. Ethan Van Skyver. <laughs> you know, he, he, he's commissioning himself, basically whoring himself out to draw commissions. And he also, you know, he, he has a book, right? That's past due. Made a million dollars off of it nearly. And this is a thing. This is the truth. He basically... You know, like, bought a new house and there's still not a book. Maybe he's misappropriating funds. Maybe the book's not coming out. Hell, you know, like, some books are, like, take, like, some books are, like, four years late. His book isn't eight months. It's not six months. It's going to be a year late. See, and I'm just waiting for the collapse to happen. It's going to happen. You're like, shit, you're like, because, you know, like, with, you know, it's Gamergate all over again. Which I was kind of, uh, unaware of what it was and stuff. 
but <clears throat> it was fighting against you know, like the same thing comic skate is fighting for but it fell apart when people tried making money off of the hashtag and the whole thing is like all the fucking so-called professionals in this basically are acting like the same fucking dipshits that you know like they're supposed to be fighting against see with all the Indiegogo's, Kickstarters, and shit like that. And it pisses me the fuck off, basically. Because it's like, what? Why? Why do you have to do this? You're like, who made this fucking dipshit in charge? See? That's, that's the reason why. And, yeah. You know, like we have you know, like fucking retards like diversity in comics standing up for you know, like Ethan and being like, oh, four to six months is usual. Well, but there's people with three you know, like they haven't delivered on about three, four years. Still no book, and that. Enrages, you know, and, and people, you know, like, are asking where the book is, and he's getting angry about it. Hell, you know, again, and some people say I'm black pilled, nihilistic, and I just want to see comics skate fail. I'm like, I thought this was a consumer revolt. I thought professionals weren't fucking involved, you know. Becoming e celebrities and they're fucking jerking each other off and shit. See, this is the way I look at Comics Gate. The gay, retarded, faggot furries with autism <clears throat> that just like sit around with a keyboard on, keyboard and fucking just bitch all the fucking day. That's what the fuck Comics Gate is. See? I just buy what I like. And until next time, I will see you guys around. Take care, take easy, have a good day, stay safe out there. And yesterday was my birthday. I'm waiting for an, a special upload. A friend, Neil, has been edited for me in the light of Mr. Medicare. Innovative guy. Fucking hilarious. Great. Check out his channel. Fucking hilarious guy. And until next time, I'll see you guys around. Take care, take it easy, have a good one.